murdered Mongolian Altantuya Sharibu had stated in her police report hours before she went missing that her lover, Abdul Razak Maginda, should be questioned if anything happened to her, the Shah Alam High Court heard today. Investigating officer Tony Lungan said it was one of the reasons the political analyst was arrested on November 7, 2006, adding that the police were unable to record a statement from Altantuya as she had gone missing after that and was later reported to be dead. In her report, Altantuya said Razak had threatened her life and had accused her of blackmailing him through some stupid letters. In testifying in a negligence suit filed by Altantuya's family against Razak, the government and two policemen, Tony said Altantuya's cousin, Namira Garelma, had also implicated Razak in her own police report. He said police arrested Razak on November 7 and that the political analyst had made a police report on October 23rd that Altantuya had created a ruckus outside his home at Bukit Damansara in Kuala Lumpur on October 17. To a question by Sangit Kordio representing the family, Tony said he did not know why Razak made a report on October 23rd when Altantuya had gone to his house on October 17. Altantuya was murdered between 10 p.m. on October 19, 2006 and 11 a.m. the following day in the jungles of Punjak Alam Selengo. She was shot in the head before her body was blown up with explosives. Razak, who was an aide to then Deputy Prime Minister Najib Razak, was charged with abetting former police officers Azila Hadri and Cyril Azha Omar, but he was later acquitted without his defence being called. The family, which alleges conspiracy in Altantuya's murder, is seeking 100 million ringgit in damages, including dependency claims, in their suit.